Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is a special video I make that I've done a few of before and it was suggested to me by my friend Paula. He said, why don't you do another one like this? You haven't done one in a while, so I want to. This is total, totally for fun. This is not to make light of the situation, but to add some laughs to the situation, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to hear, trying to make fun of anyone in particular. I'm just making fun. I'm just having some fun. Uh, I've done this. I think I've made three of them. This might be at least the fourth one, maybe the fifth one. And people seem to like them. So I decided to do another one. Psychopaths, narcissists, borderlines. Oh my. And this is a, how do they react to the coronavirus, right? How do these guys how they act differently to the coronavirus. This is not psychological. I could go much deeper into these things. This is fun. Jokes. Okay? I hope maybe lighten up, not to make light of the situation, but to lighten up your emotions. Okay? So, let's get started. When I went down and I, I picked, uh, I did four personality disorders. Psychopaths, sociopaths. No, I did five. Well, I did four disorders, but I did the psychopath and sociopath for the antisocial. And then I did histrionic, narcissist, borderline. So, and I also did what happens when they're sick. So first, let's go, what happened? How are these guys reacting to the coronavirus coming to their town? Huh? Psychopaths. Well, psychopaths are in charge, aren't they? They're the leaders. They're actually directing what's going on with, the, with this virus. Or, or a reaction, how we're taking care of this. So psychopaths would do things like declare war on the invisible enemy. <laughs> they care, what are they concerned with, right? Are they concerned about the people that they're leading? They're concerned with themselves, how they look. So they're, they're concerned with winning. This is now a war against the invisible enemy. And they're concerned with which country is winning, which country looks the best, and which country to blame the China virus on. <laughs> Posturing. Posing. Concerned about self. Confusing and contradicting. Yeah? <laughs> sociopaths. How do sociopaths react to this? They love it. They love it. It's about time. It's about time society takes what they deserve. That they get what they, that's been coming to them for a long time, these nasty people. They already isolate, so that's no big deal. Living on the fringes of us, of us, of our society. They may, they may work from home already. And they won't follow any of the rules, right? They get to hoard. They get to still run business and keep, keep business open, Right? Maybe they provide some kind of service, but their country is on lockdown and they don't care. They're going to keep trying to provide that service for themselves. Yeah? Narcissists. What do narcissists do? Well, somehow, this is all about them. Somehow, some way, all this virus stuff and this talk and everything everybody's doing has everything to do with them. And this is the time they're freaking out. This is the time they are going to hoover... I've already been, already been, hoovered three different narcissists. How many of you guys been hoovered by? I bet most of you, if not all of you, have already been hoovered by narcissists, haven't you? Tell me down there. <laughs> this is the time because narcissists and, and histrionic and sociopaths and all these guys, they're dependent, emotionally dependent on people, right? So they're freaking out and they're going to, you know, oh, I just... I just want to let you know that I just care so much about you and I'm just worried about how you're doing. I'm just thinking about you, you know. Uh-huh. Right. You're bored at home by yourself. So let's call up everybody in the past and tell them how freaking great they are when you made them feel so horrible, right? So, next one, histrionic. Guess where the word histrionic came from? Hysteria. Hysterical. Right? So all the hysteria you've seen is, is such histrionic behavior. 
I'm not saying they're all histrionics, but I mean the hoarding, the freaking out, we're all gonna die, I think I'm sick. <coughs> uh, right? <laughs> All the histrionics right now got it. They got it. They all have the virus right now. And they're all in the hospitals right now demanding care. They all have it. Borderlines. Oh, a mess. Just a mess. Somehow, their problems are bigger than this coronavirus. Somehow, their problems aren't just worldwide. They're universal. And for some reason, the whole world is ignoring them. They keep paying attention to this virus thing going around. So what happens when they're all actually sick, right? Now they're sick. Now what happens to them? Well, the psychopath hits the nuke button. It's over, <laughs> right? For all of us. The, socio, the sociopath relentlessly attempts to contaminate the entire world. They're going around coughing, sneezing, spitting, licking, everything. Touching everything. Everybody must get sick. For once, they're finally involved with society. <laughs> the narc, the narcissist. Well, he's sick. Now he's going to die, he thinks. So he builds a monument. Down below it says, the best person we lost from this virus. And then they get better and then they keep the monument in their front yard still. The histrionic, well, has a phobia of test kits. So we never actually know if they're really sick or not. But they've had it for months. The borderline, the worst case ever. They somehow get on the news to talk about, I'm the worst. I'm the worst case ever that survived. And it's every single buddy's fault out there. That's it, guys. I hope you like it. Please, please, please offer some of your own funny suggestions. Funny, true, real, not real, whatever. Go down there and, and, and add some own. Add some more of your own. Every time I do this, I get some really hilarious reactions and some really funny uh, suggestions. And um, always feel free to make suggestions for the next one. If you guys want me to continue to do this and maybe do another one soon, tell me, give me some ideas. I'd love to hear them. Thanks, guys. Um, I hope all of you are staying sane in this. I hope that you're being vigilant. I hope you're being strong. I hope that you're being considerate and compassionate and tolerable of other people. And you let the other people, right, the smaller people that aren't where we, we are at, you just let them freak out, okay? This is going to be over soon and we'll all be back to normal. Thanks, guys. Love yourself first. I'll see you again later. Bye.